Police charged a handyman with killing a local woman who has been missing for months. Elizabeth Weissenfeld's daughter hasn't heard from her since April. Police found her cell phone on the south side, and they think Douglas Berry used it after she disappeared. Brenda Waters is live with new developments in the case. Brenda. It's called good old fashioned police work and it paid off big time. And DA Steven Zapella made the big announcement today. He said with the use of surveillance video, telephone uh, pings, and also um, a witness and forensics, they have the guy that they've been looking at all along. Elizabeth Betsy Weisenfeld was reported missing by her daughter on April 30th. In the months since, investigators had developed a tight timeline as to what may have happened to Weisenfeld. And their investigation always centered around this man, 48-year-old Douglas Berry of McKeesport, who was a handyman who often worked for the victim. She had two cameras on either side of her house in Whitehall. Just before 9, those cameras captured Berry's truck on April 30th. This truck is going to stop back up. And it's going to pull in the driveway. That's where Betsy lives. The front door opens. Three minutes later, it closes, and Barry allegedly steps inside the house. The garage door opens, and he comes from the back of the property. The garage door closes. He gets in his truck and pulls away. At 9:12, his cell phone pings. Or well, actually, it's Betsy's cell phone at that point, right? Betsy's cell phone pings near Curry Hollow Road. Uh, we lose him until 10.38.49 seconds. No sign of Barry until about 90 minutes later when he pulls up to a Kogo's at 10th and East Carson Street on the south side. At 11.11, a text message is sent from Betsy's phone to her daughter. Investigators say Barry writes while pretending to be Weisenfeld. Quote, I've met someone and I'm leaving town. Two days later, her white iPhone is found on the south side by a public works employee. Then there is this video from a PNC ATM machine. Police say Barry withdrew $500 and then attempted to destroy the card by burning it inside a Miller Lite beer can. Is in that card. And there's a single fingerprint on the outside of the beer can. All of these items were either found inside Barry's home or in his truck. A gun was also found inside his home, which landed him in jail for a gun violation. There was also blood evidence on the cover of his steering wheel. Police say they also found four full bottles of drain cleaner inside Barry's home. A witness told them that he bought that at Lowe's and Walmart. Now, this cleaner contains about 90 percent sulfuric acid. Police believe he was going to use that to destroy the victim's body. Her body still has not been found. Reporting live at County Police Headquarters, Brenda Waters, KDKA News.